Welcome back. It's still November the 6th, 2019. My guest in this segment is Louis Lazowski, and we're going to be talking about a couple of things, starting with um, posting up and starting citizens' forums. So yes, I, I've been doing that on my Facebook, and that, and thank you, Jack, for inviting me to come thank on you the for program, coming on because the show. it gives me a chance to talk about some things I would like to do here. Uh, I ran in the last election and tried to reach a lot of people but didn't have much luck uh, because we didn't get into very many discussions with people. We weren't allowed on the forums and stuff. And, uh, but I think more importantly here is that we should recognize that we are in a emergency state as far as uh, the world is concerned, that we have a climate uh, catastrophe coming up. Well, we're in one, basically. The, I mean, we have to believe our scientists that are saying change. We've got to, we've got to make rapid change here. And that means all of us. And I, uh, I think that that's the issue we should all be discussing and we, sh we should all be involved in uh, uh, to, to try and change things here right now. now so some of the things I'm, I'm proposing locally that we could do here is, is get our own food supply uh, uh, taken care of. And, uh, and that means basically coming back to like a victory gardens type, type of thing. When you say victory gardens, what does that mean? Well, it means that we start planting all the, all the areas in town. Like we have to cut back on our environmental impact. And, and everything we're doing here is... Uh, most of what, what we're involved with in, in the transportation and, uh, and our, uh, our uh, agricultural methods here, we're poisoning our planet right across, right across the, the, uh, and across this country. The, the amount of herbicides and pesticides that are poured on Canada every year is millions and millions of barrels. And, and this, we're continuing to, uh, to, to kill all the biodiversity off. Uh, and we have to deal with changing climate. We're already having uh, crop problems. We, ca we cannot continue the, the monoculture, mighty machines uh, a, a type of agriculture. It, it requires poisons to grow the food. And we're not helping ourselves by poisoning our planet and poisoning ourselves with the food which is what we're doing. We're poisoning our fish. Salmon are, are, are a tremendous resource here. And our wild salmon, they, they occupy a huge ecosystem that really affects almost all of British Columbia and the coastal range here. And we are ignoring their habitat. We're ignoring the watersheds we're logging in. We continue to overfish. And we're, we've got all these fish farms going on. Like, if we're, th those salmon are very, very important to this ecosystem and to, to the well-being of everybody in British Columbia. And we really have to make an effort to, to stop what is going on and repair the damage. And, and that's why I'm saying we should have these citizens' forums. They're very simple things. Get together with the, the people in your community, your friends, your clubs, sit down and talk about what we are going to do because we are in a crisis and i don't want to get i don't want to get too excited about it all i mean i came here for a pleasant conversation we were just having a really nice one but i i get worked up when i think about it and so if you need a, if you want to put together a citizen forum talk to me i'll try and give you a hand and Extinction Rebellion is a very good model to follow. Their citizens' forums are working very well. They're very united. They get, uh, they get together and they work as a team. Now, every citizens' forum, as you get to know it, and there's all kinds of people sitting at home with nothing to do, lonely, depressed, and everything else, because they're looking at the world and say, I can't do anything. Get together with the neighbors and the, uh, or whoever you can and start a citizens forum. I don't care what the issue is. You know, get together on an issue that's in your community that needs to be dealt with and discuss how we can change it. And if 
if you can sit there and, and draw the people in that have the information, the expertise if you want, but sit down and work it out. And when you've got a clear picture of what you want to do, go to your politician. And if he doesn't want to move, get Extinction Rebellion there and move him. Or become a part of Extinction Rebellion. Extinction Rebellion is a beautiful tool. All right. Now, if we were going to do the right things, tell the truth, go peacefully, disrupt if necessary. But, here, but, but also at the same time, let's get to work on what needs to be done on the ground. You know, I, you know? I really agree with you. I, I mean, I really think the answer is with the public, the people, the citizens. But we're so disorganized. We're so... Uh, divided, you know, and uh, citizens forums getting together. Uh. Citizens forums are a beautiful way to come together because everybody's equal. There's no hierarchy, you know, you, together you can decide and, and together you can discuss. It's not to come as an argument. Come together with a common purpose to make the world better, to, to solve a problem. Come with a common purpose and we'll find that it's a lot easier to work with each other <coughs> if we are working on the same thing. And if we can get together on, on things and, and not work at cross purposes and connect with other groups, uh, it, it, as a matter of fact, if you come up with the citizens forums here, if we come up with citizens forums here, we can, and there's many of them, and, and we're working for the, that is your political force. You can create a political force far greater than the voting in the election uh, every four years and get, uh, get basically what is a manipulated election. And uh, I, I consider them really run by money. And then and, and the political parties is a divided house. We, we, we need to be coming together, not as a division, but together to solve our problems. And I think we need truth and transparency in everything government is doing. Yeah. So you've mentioned Extinction Rebellion a couple of times, and yeah. you went to one of their meetings. What do they do that, that seems to work? Well, they sit, they, like basically from the first time I went, and I, I observed uh, s several meetings now, it was introduce yourself. Why are you here? What draw, draws you to come to this, uh, th this meeting? And, and each person introduces themselves, and, and people talk. And basically, someone is kind of takes the, anybody in the group can take, okay, you tell people who's, like somebody puts their hand up to speak, they speak, and so there's only one person speaking at a time. It's a discussion, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and then ideas come that, that people want to be discussed. We can put it up and, and have a discussion about that amongst the group, how much they want to talk about it. Does somebody want to take an action on that? Can they help get more information or whatever we need to do and, 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 or whatever they need to do like the, as they organize? And uh, it's, it's if uh, you know, people are dedicated to solving the problem, then they will, people, and it's, and, and it's all self-funding. It's not like there's no, they deserve to be funded, in my opinion, for, for what they're doing, like they're doing and, and the thing is, that they're, they're, they're standing out and saying, look, this, this truth is not being told here. That's and, very uh, true. The truth is not being told. So, so we, have, we, have to get, we have to do something to get the message out that the environment and our own survival is at risk. Yeah, that's the point. You know, you, you listen to you the know? media, you watch TV, you read the newspaper. It's, it's really like it was 50 years ago. But... What you've said is absolutely true. We Our are survival yeah. is at and, risk. And, and at yet every, every, uh, every year, a couple hundred more species are gone. And there's a couple hundred more at risk, right? You know, we're just losing species. We're hundreds of species here. Every, it, it, I know. yeah. It's, uh, so, so we do, we are, take it seriously. Um, it doesn't mean we can't have fun, but we've got to stop a lot of things that we're doing that are not necessary. It's, uh, you, uh, well, okay, it, cars, for example. Yeah, okay, what are, the, what are people driving the cars to and from? Is that what, is that what they're doing necessary? 
trains, you know. Well, no, it, but trains trains are trains are far far more efficient. But at the same time, it's always like, what are we doing that we're we're rushing back and forth? How much of what we are doing is actually necessary if we would would work together and cooperate? We don't need half the bureaucracy, uh, three quarters of the bureaucracy we have, if we would correct what we're doing. We don't we don't need big prison systems. Sweden uh, the, doesn't have a, uh, or Norway, one of them, the, uh, they treat every person that comes into a crime right from the beginning. As a young person make, gets in trouble with the, with the public or the law, that person is, okay, what can we do? We got a, we got a problem here. We've got to solve this problem before it be, continues on forever. And they have 5% of the num numbers of people they actually holding in jail. Yeah. As compared to what we do, and we uh, and they're and they're solving the problem yes. right from the beginning, yes. because right. they don't have the income inequality that we have, which causes well, that's so much trouble. If if yeah. if we were more like this in terms of the rich and the poor, this would be a much much better country, and that is very doable. That's it's that's just, certainly doable. Yeah. yeah. Um, you started off by talking a little bit about food and victory well, gardens. Uh, well, the, well, I I'm a gardener and farmer by so it's it's a passion of mine. Like I love gardening and I it, it's uh, and I'm I, and I love the bush, but which I spent quite a few years in. But but uh, gardening is a uh, is just the nicest work I've ever done all my life, and uh, and and also that we need to have local food supply. Yes. That should be happening across the country. Every community should be developing a local food supply for security of food supply. We can no longer rely on foreign markets. We can't rely on our monetary system. And so we have to, we should, people should be in control of their transportation, their food supply, you know. They can we do it? And their mean, energy. You know, Right now, you go to the store, everything is coming from California, Mexico, or somewhere else, well, especially in the it. winter. Don't count on don't it. Don't count on it. I agree with yeah. you. But do we have the ability, let's say here on Vancouver Island, certainly. to... Okay, good. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. I would I, agree with that. With, I think with we do. My, with, with my own information, knowledge, I, I, know, I know we can do it here. Uh, is there any... Do you see any movement in that direction from our... Not from the top down, but from the bottom up, yes. But it's again, it's slow, and we just have to pick up. We just have to get a lot more going on, yeah. and it's not. Uh, and because farming and the way that it's structured on our exchange system, it's very difficult to make a half decent wage from from that growing That is a food. big problem, but yeah. that too is solvable. It, we can we can do well, that. Well, it means like there's people got to help the farmer, or yeah. or there has to be a different, more more involvement here. Because what's more, more important? Support. Well, what, what's important is our food and our shelter, you know, and our, and our well-being. Like, so let's, get the, let's work on the important things. Don't let money stand in the way. Because if, if we can't survive here because we're short of money, I think we better short the money out and survive. Yeah. Like Louis, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Louis's phone number is appearing at the bottom of uh, at the bottom of the screen, off and on. I hope so. If you're interested in citizens forums uh, or the ideas he's putting forward, which are very good ideas, please get in touch. Thank you, Louis. Yeah, thank you. And thanks thank for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching this segment of Citizens Forum. Yeah.
down like a snake, come close a fool in the end. Take experience.